welcome to the first of two videos that will show how to graph functions with multiple transformations. This video does assume that you've already watched the videos that show how the values of a, b, c, and d in this form transform f of x. So if we have f of x equals negative one half times the absolute value of the quantity x plus one minus two, we need to be able to recognize that a would be equal to negative one half, which tells us two things. Since a is negative, this is a reflection about the x-axis, and that it's been vertically compressed by a factor of one-half. Next, c is equal to positive one, and if we see x plus one, that means this graph would be shifted left one unit. And d would be equal to negative two which means the graph is also shifted down two units. So it's very difficult to graph all of these transformations at one time. So what we're gonna do is take this in steps. I've already provided the parent function y equals the absolute value of x. Let's go ahead and identify some key points on this graph, like the origin, maybe the point four four and maybe negative four, four. Next, we'll first graph the reflection and the vertical compression. So we're gonna graph y equals negative one half times the absolute value of x. Remember, when a is equal to negative one half, we can take these points on the parent function, multiply the y coordinate by negative one half, and leave the x coordinate the same, and that'll give us points on the transformed graph. So the transformed graph will still have the point zero, zero, but now when we multiply this y coordinate by negative one half, we'll have the point negative four, negative two. And we multiply this y coordinate by negative one half, we'll have the point four, negative two. So this will be the graph that has been reflected and vertically compressed. Now we're gonna take these three points and shift them left one unit and down two units. Let's go ahead and label these. So in order to shift each of these points left one unit, we'll subtract one from the x coordinates, and then to shift it down two units, we'll subtract two from each y coordinate. So here if we subtract one, we'll have negative five, and then subtract two, we'll have negative four. So the point negative five, negative four would be here. Subtract one from the x coordinate, we'd have negative one. Subtract two from the y coordinate, we'll have negative one, negative two. And then lastly, subtract one from the x, we'll have three. Subtract two from the y, we'll have negative four. The point three, negative four. And this would be the graph of the original function that was given to us. It's been reflected, it's been vertically compressed, it's been shifted left one unit and also down two units. Let's go ahead and try another one. This one's a little bit trickier. We have to recognize that it's not in the exact form that we want it to be, meaning if we want b times the quantity x plus c, we're gonna to have to factor out the two from two x minus four. So let's rewrite this as f of x equals the square root of two times the quantity x minus two plus one. Let's go ahead and identify the values of a, b, c, and d. In this case, a would be one, b is equal to two, which means this graph is horizontally compressed. Next, c is equal to negative two, which means the graph will be shifted right two units. And d is equal to one, which means we'll shift the graph up one unit. Next thing we have to recognize that our parent function is going to be y equals the square root of x. I've already completed a t-table for this function to save us some time. Remember when we have a horizontal or vertical compression from a value of b, we leave the y coordinates the same, 
but multiply the x coordinate by 1 over b or just divide the x coordinates by b. So let's go ahead and take these x coordinates, divide by b, and leave the y coordinates the same for this horizontal compression. So we'll still have the origin. Next, let's skip this one because it'd be a fraction. If we divide 4 by 2, we'd have 2 for the x coordinate and 2 for the y coordinate. So we have the point 2, 2. Let's go ahead and skip 9 and go to 16. If we divide 16 by 2, that'd be 8. The y coordinate stays 4. These three points should be enough to make a nice graph that has been horizontally compressed. Now we're going to go ahead and take these points and shift them right two units and up one. Let's go ahead and label them. We have the origin, we have the point 2, 2, and we have the point 8, 4. So we'll add 2 to each x coordinate and add 1 to each y coordinate. So the origin will become 2, 1. Add 2 to the x coordinate, that'd be 4. Add 1 to the y coordinate, that'd be 3. So the point 4, 3. If we add 2 to the 8, we'd have 10, comma. Add 1 to the 4, we'd have 5. 10, 5. And then we'll make a nice graph through these three points. It looks something like that. This graph has been horizontally compressed, shifted right two units, and also down one unit. So the idea here is that if you know how to graph a parent function, you should be able to graph a transformed function fairly quickly and easily without the use of a graphing calculator. I hope you found this video helpful. We, we will take a look at two more examples in part two of this video.